Camelot 331 here, and we're back. And why am I back? I don't know. I didn't think I would live this long. But there's another company creating waves. And I don't know why there's always another company. And it's probably because money is apparently damn delicious. And they just can't help but bite on it every so often. And by every so often, I mean all the damn time. Recently, this company has been at the center of a lot of controversy, resulting in legal battles. What company am I talking about? I'm talking about Dollar General, a place where you could take in $10 and leave with a couple things because it's cheap as hell. And the CEO of Dollar General has been in trouble for saying some pretty controversial things. Well, somebody from their corporate office reached out to me who knows and works with him very closely to tell me exactly what he's been saying. And also, I have several messages from employees to go through. But before we get into it, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, doodle. It's really, really important. And make sure you subscribe if you haven't. It's been long enough. It's been like a minute. Let's do this. <laughs> so first message I received. I work at Dollar General. I started there as a store manager and it didn't last long. I was forced to work 80 hour weeks every day. If you needed time off, my boss would say, you're on salary, tough luck, man. There was no training at all. I walked in and started working as a store manager. They told me to hire six people at minimum wage, but they couldn't work more than 14 hours per person a week. So they would last a week and then quit. I was the only person there always. And that's because they don't want to give benefits to anyone else other than management. That's why they can't work, you know, many hours. They go on to say it was extremely high shrink and in a very bad area. My boss said the store does well in revenue because of all the dumb poor folk. Wow, <laughs> that's pretty screwed up. Every day I had a line of 20 plus people all day on the register by myself. I got slapped and punched by customers on a daily basis because we didn't have other employees. I was there six months and left. My marriage almost failed because of the stress. It was the worst job I easily have ever had. That is insane, working 80 hours a week on salary. And companies can do that because when they put you on salary, they basically own you. And that's how they see it. You have to do everything they say, regardless of what they say. When I worked at GameStop and we were still on salary, we had to work 60 to 70 hours a week, mandatory during the holiday portions of the year. So it's the same type deal, except year round and a way bigger store with way more things and way more angry customers. That would probably be terrible. <laughs> Next message. Camelot, anyone reached out about Dollar General to you? Hail, yeah. He says, I am a store manager at Dollar General and it is the worst thing I've ever experienced. I work seven days a week, 12 hours a day because of salary. I am in the store alone and they want us to confront everyone that steals, which leads to getting assaulted often. <laughs> Damn. When you do the math on my salary for hours I'm required to be at the store, I make less than $8 an hour. Ooh. If you're working 80 hours or more a week and only making 35 to 40K a year, you're definitely less than $8 an hour. They say, we are also instructed to sell expired things. Ooh, like over-the-counter medicine or food, anything expired. We are not allowed to toss it. We are forced to sell it, which makes customers come back angry, I presume. <laughs> Dollar General, no, it's expired and doesn't give a damn. So there you go again, somebody working seven days a week, 12 hours a day, never getting a break, only one in the store, getting punched in the face all the time in not the good way, because there's good ways sometimes but do they actually sell expired things that sounds a little insane maybe far-fetched right but wait what's this <laughs> dollar store brands are facing a reckoning after customers slam the industry for selling expired items oh it just happens to be true. <laughs> Damn it, man. Despite strong sales and rapid growth, dollar store brands are receiving increasing backlash for dubious practices like selling expired products and contributing to food deserts by taking over retail space in low-income rural communities. It says the dollar stores were collectively fined $1.2 million dollars for selling expired over-the-counter medicine, faulty mo motor oil, and failing to comply with the New York state law policy regarding bottle deposits. So it also says right here, the fines, the $1.2 million that they were fined for selling expired items, claims that it will improve their business practices and update their policies moving forward to avoid further legal action. And I like how it says to avoid further le legal action. They wouldn't have done it otherwise. Shocking. Among the most troubling findings, investigators discovered that Dollar General branded motor oil is not viable for most engines created 
<laughs> after 1930. That was 90 years ago. <laughs> what? And that the store failed to notify customers otherwise. Shocking. Additionally, several over-the-counter medications were months beyond the expiration date. So they're just killing the hell out of people. Everybody's damn dying right now. If you go to Dollar General, you're going to die. If you work at Dollar General, you're probably going to kill somebody. And then you'll die as at the same time. It's terrible. Don't drink the motor oil and don't put the medicine in your car. Because you're going to die, son. <laughs> so it turns out to be true. It was actually true. They're selling expired items knowingly. Absolutely knowingly. And then they got fined for it. And the person that messaged me says they're still doing it. Because they don't give a damn. Because paying $1 million in legal fees is literally a drop in the bucket when you're looking at $22 billion in sales. $22 billion. Dude, they don't give a damn about that $1 million. Shit. That's like me having like a dollar. But what is it the CEO said? I have a message from someone in the corporate office claiming the CEO is a little crazy. The CEO's name is Todd Vezos. If I'm saying that right. Let's see what this message has to say from the guy from the corporate office. You guys ready? They say, I work in the corporate office in Goodlettsville, Tennessee. I work very closely with the CEO and other members of the team. Their entire goal is finding low income areas that are high in crime to open new stores in because they are profitable. The CEO has actually said verbatim, we rely on the slow, poor, and uneducated. Wow. That's nice. <laughs> That's very nice of him. He makes jokes when someone suggests something he finds dumb, saying, that is what a Dollar General customer would say. Don't be so dumb. Damn. And you guys are going to Dollar General. The CEO thinks you're dumb as hell. The company is banking on the economy taking a turn, and they lobby in any way possible to help that happen so they can thrive. So apparently Dollar General is lobbying to people in the government to just destroy the economy so they can be, they got, get the money. <laughs> That's insane. Betting on the country to fail so they can thrive. They go on to say our turnover rate is the highest out of every company I've ever worked for. There are no long-term associates. Their goal is to break store managers down mentally and build them back up for Dollar General. Similar to extreme sex in the military. By working them 80 to 90 hours a week and threatening them if they refuse. So it's a basically our way or the highway situation. And that phrase is old and dumb. But that's basically what's going on. You work 80 or 90 hours. You choose us over your family. You got a dying kid. Too bad. They go on to say they look at our employees as dumb and couldn't care less about them. We had a store manager get stabbed recently in a robbery. The employee survived. The CEO responded in a meeting with asking how the store was performing. When he found out it was performing poorly, he said, shame they didn't finish the job. So we could have got someone else in there. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Jesus. Who says millions of dollars changes a person? No, he just wants everybody to die, including his employees. Holy mother of God. There's no way that could be true, though, right? There's no way that that could be true. No successful CEO would ever say anything disparaging about his employees, right? Oh, what's this? Dollar General, with about 14,000 stores across the country and a $22 billion dollar market value targets customers making $40,000 a year or less. They are expanding. CEO Todd Vesos told the journal why he said the economy is continuing to create more of our core customer. Shocking. Sounds like a more polite way of saying what he literally just said in the message sent to me. Says right here, this is how he described the typical dollar general customer. A person that doesn't look at her pantry or her refrigerator and say, you know, I'm going to be out of ketchup in the next few days. I'm going to order a few bottles. The core customer uses the last bit of ketchup at the table the night prior and either on her way to work or on her way home picks up a bottle. Basically, the poor. That's what he's saying. The slow, the poor, and the uneducated. That's what he said. He's saying to the lady would wait to get her ketchup because she's not smart. And he said the economy is continuing to create more of our core customer. He said, we are putting stores today in areas that perhaps five years ago were just on the cups of probably not being in our demographic, he said. 
and it has now turned to being our demographic. <laughs> so if the CEO would actually come out in public and make a statement that they're focusing on their core customer, which is people that are, you know, poor or dumb, then is it really that hard to believe that in private he would just say, ha, our customer's dumb as hell. Thank God for the dumb customers. Yes, he probably would. And that's what the guy on the message said. So my review for working at Dollar General, zero out of 10. <laughs> 70 to 80 or more hours a week. No days off, usually. You're going to be the only person there. No help. You have to act as security and confront people. You have to do pretty much everything that is required in the store. Does your district manager care? Hell no. It's either do your work or get the hell out the door. And what are most people going to do when there's no other jobs in their area? They're going to stay and they're going to suffer. They don't get vacation time or off time or nothing. They just get wrecked. And with there being literally almost no workers rights in America, Dollar General can legally do that. It's fine. Dollar General also is ongoing selling expired medicine, oil, food, pretty much everything. They've been fined millions of dollars for it. And they're just going to keep doing it because a million dollars is nothing to them. And the CEO, Todd Vesos, doesn't give a damn about the customer nor his employees. He said he hoped the one guy would have died from getting stabbed so they could have a better person in the store making more revenue. That's what he said. They like to focus on the poor, the dumb, and the uneducated for their core customer. That's also what he said. Absolutely insane. So my advice is just don't work at Dollar General and probably don't go in there either because you're going to get expired stuff and you're going to die. So what do you think about Dollar General? Do you work there? Message me. Reach out to me. Comment below. Like the damn video if you enjoyed it. There's a lot more to cover. There's always more to cover. Don't be afraid to reach out on Twitter or Instagram. So as always, thank you for making it possible for me to do this for you. And until next time, make sure to get on it. Doggone it. Bye. Yeah. Those are my favorite. But they're so damn expensive.